All right, so today I have before me a bunch of Star Wars figures and play sets and accessories and vehicles. Um, dog, you totally interrupted me. Come on, you get, get out of here. I'm talking, so he thinks I'm talking to him. Okay, in this next set of videos, I'm going to shift focus from 28 millimeter to 3 and 3 quarter inch scale figures. And I'm going to start off with some Star Wars toys here. So I have some figures, some vehicles, and some classic play sets. I'm going to try to keep it to the vintage stuff. This is going to be exclusively vintage stuff. Nothing, no prequels, no sequels, nothing like that. But what I have right here is... Um, something I've collected over the past couple of months. There's nothing here from my childhood. I have gotten a couple pieces that I've inherited from other people, but most of this is just eBay junk lots stuff. So these figures are not in good shape at all. So I'm just going to go through the process over the next couple of videos of what I'm going to do to restore these and repair them. I'm not going to do full on super duper ret restorations. I'm just going to treat these like normal pieces of equipment that are the age they are. I'm not using OEM parts or anything. I don't believe in... I have a figure here who costs $2. I don't want to spend $10 on a missing gun for a $2 person. So we're just going to do economic repairs on these guys. Most of these guys were, you know, between two and five dollars a piece so we don't want to get crazy and spend a crap load of money on dudes that don't cost that much so I have some play sets here some vintage play sets this play set is um, not from my childhood but I have I have my original over there but these play sets I just got off of eBay or Facebook marketplace or something and we're gonna just get these a little quick cleanup and today we're gonna wash all of these guys in some cold soapy water um, in the next video, I'm going to go through and start doing some touch-up paints and some minor repairs on some of these people. Like, for example, I have this little Ugnaught here. He's supposed to wear a little apron. I don't have no apron. So, I'm going to take just some of this regular blue felt here, and I'm going to make him, I'm going to fabricate an apron out of this. For, um... The majority of the paint scuffs, I'm going to use a paint pen. This is a tester style paint pen. You know, it shakes. It's got acrylic paint in it. It doesn't have water-based paint in it. But for the, the wide variety of colors, I'm probably going to switch over to like an apple barrel or um, a folk art style paint that I use on my regular miniatures. Um, some of the other things that I'm going to use to cheat for belts and things of that nature is I'm going to use some bread twisty ties here because they're about the right size for straps and some mini zip ties. So that's basically my introduction and I'm going to get all this stuff and we're going to put it in a bin and we're going to go ahead and wash these down with some cold soapy water. Alright so here we are at the sink. I'm just going to run some cold water in here. I don't have an R2-D2 in here that has any kind of paper stickers or anything. This is all just pure um, plastic dudes. There's no like decals or cloth in here anywhere. I've also got a little grate here because I'm going to kind of rinse them but I don't want them to get back in the water after I'm done. I'm using a soft bristle brush here to get these guys. So I'm just going to start at one end and it's just like doing laundry. Oh, I dropped the first one. They're slippery. So I'm just going to start going here and giving them a quick rinse. A brush and a rinse. That ought to be good. I'm going to drop this down to a very slow rinse.
You can see we got some wear on his toes right here and on his shoulder, the back of his head. Mm, a lot of these guys are going to be like that. some of that soap off right here. So I'm not putting them in soap. I don't want any soap residue once we're done. Another Chewbacca. This guy's got some discolored arms. There's not going to be a whole lot I'm going to do about that. This guy's just going to be one of those that I just stick in the bin as a backup. This guy's got paint wear on his gloves and the back of his vest. This is going to be pretty easy to take care of. This guy's got a lot of paint wear on his stripes. This is going to be a little more challenging. This is going to be the one of the guys I'm most worried about. Turn his head to try to get underneath that braiding. That blue paint is really starting to pop. I think it's a little faded actually. It's very bright and then underneath his arm it's a little bit, bit duller. There's an IG-88. I have three of these. I'm probably going to try to uh, convert one of these guys into an IG-11 for the Mandalorian show. I may even repaint a Boba Fett, a classic Boba Fett, to look like the Mandalorian and set up a special diorama for that. This guy's hair is okay. His, his eyes are not that bad. The printing on his eyes are good. But his face paint is worn, and I'm gonna have to, that's the guy I'm gonna have to be most careful with because I don't wanna have to redo his eyes or anything. This guy's got some dirt on him. This, I believe this is four long. I got several of these dudes too. Without his cloak, he looks really bad. I got some uh, tan felt to make him some a new cloak as well guy's belt is a little worn and his necklace and stuff is a little worn. He's just going to need some touching up. Got some, I got two, I have both 
head, head sculpts of the Han Solo, the little head and a big head. This I think is the worst one because he's got a, a huge chunk missing out of his vest and his arms are discolored. You can see the difference. I got a big head and a little head here. And this guy looks a lot better than this guy. But we're going to see what we can do for both of them. This guy's got some mark. Let's see if we can get that off of there. I don't... I don't think I can get that off of there. I have a, a ton of Landos. I have this style and I have the Cloud City Lando. I have several of these. Most of them are in pretty good shape, but they're missing every accessory. Uh, this this guy from Return of the Jedi is one of my favorites. This, like, I don't know what you call him, a torture droid or not, but he was always one of my favorites from the Return of the Jedi movie. I don't know if you can see, but it looks like he actually has a skull on his back. Bosk. That's another Lando. I really prefer the uh, disguised Lando over the Cloud City Lando. He looks like he has a belt on. I don't know if that's original. If that's something somebody put on there, but that's certainly an accessory I didn't know he had. See, his hands are kind of worn off. There's a Bespin Han Solo. Hoth Rebel Commander. I don't know if that's paint wear or if that's dirt. Another Lando. While I'm sitting here talking, while I'm thinking about it, you know, they had that, um, Red Letter Media video where they took like, I don't know, a, a huge amount. I don't know if it was hundreds or thousands of these guys and they put them in a bin, like a plexiglass case and they I think they poured acetone on them or something and it's, it's absolutely horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. But if you look at the video, once the paint comes off, most of the dudes are gray. And if you look at these guys, they're not all molded in gray. There's a lot of white, there's a lot of brown, there's a lot of black. You would think that uh, the molding would look different. So I'm not even sure if they actually melted down real Star Wars guys or fake Star Wars guys. Here's a Cloud City, I think he's a Cloud Car pilot. He needs some touch-up paint that's not black or white like a basic color. He's got some that orange that's going to need to be looked into. This medical droid has a discolored head, but he still has he still has his uh, hose on there, like he has to breathe out of it or something. 
so that's very cool like even mine from when I was a kid didn't have that hose on it for very long there's another Lando I got a bunch of these that's three that's three I think that's the last of them this guy no I guess it's not him he's just got really really tiny hands Got some Donald Trump hands here. I thought his hands were chewed off, but I guess they're just very small. Here's Greedo. He's in pretty good shape. I'm using cold water as well because I don't want to use hot water and loosen up their joints. A lot of these guys like joint condition, whether they can hold their arms up straight or not, or their legs, is a big deal. So if you put warm water on them, it may run the risk of loosening up their joints. Here's a big head Han. He's in really nice shape. His hair just needs to be touched up. TIE Fighter Pilot. His boots are scuffed up. Um, I'm trying not to hit their deke. They've got these little Imperial logos up here. I don't want to hit those too hard and s scratch them off. Wow, he cleaned up really pretty. He looks really good. Other than the touch-up paint, he's still got partial logos. He's looking good. Here's an original Stormtrooper. He's very discolored on his body. But that's, that's very typical. And you see how he's got really loose and floppy limbs there. If we used hot water, we could run the risk of having them all do that. And then they won't be able to stand properly on display or possibly dioramas or anything. There's another Neem Numb. And he has the same kind of condition issues as the other one. Where his vest and his gloves and his boots don't look very good. I believe this is a regular Hoth rebel soldier. He's nobody special. He always stood in for a Luke Skywalker because Luke Skywalker didn't come out for a while. Nobody had one. Uh, here's the guy who has the uh, busted arms. My Hispanic Cloud City Guard. He's, his hands are chewed off somehow. So I'm going to have to, uh, I'm just going to paint over it and pretend it doesn't exist and just look at them from far away. You know, it is what it is. Here's an ad at pilot. Once again, I'm not going to hit those logos very hard. I'm, I am going to use some red paint to touch up his red stripe, though. I mean, logos is a little different story, but a red stripe is a red stripe. I probably matched that up and, uh, and hit that and make it look a little nicer. Alright, here we've got the uh, African American Bespin guard. His, arm, his legs are a little warped, but the piping on his jacket is in excellent condition. They, oh, look at that. That's almost fantastic. Near mint. Looks very good. His hands need a little touch-up, I think. Uh, he actually doesn't look that bad. He's just a little warped. And now that he's cleaned up, he doesn't look as bad as he did when I first looked at him. Here's another TIE Fighter pilot. His logos are not as nice. Yeah, these guys, you're not going to wash these guys every day like you wash dishes. This is like a once every five or ten year deal, depending. I mean, these probably... These guys may have never been washed since they were from the factory. So, 
it's not a super big deal to, to just do this one time you know we're not hurting them at all here's a sand person I don't think I have very many of these I may have one more of these these guys I'm using like all those uh, places as you saw I'm gonna use those as diorama displays and so I needed certain guys like you know I have to have creature cantina guys I have to have land of the Jawas set guys which you know, a couple stormtroopers some sand guys some Jawas you know and of course farm boy Luke and old school R2-D2 and uh, C-3PO. I also need uh, R5-D4. I haven't gotten him yet. He's on the wish list. Um, yeah, if you have an opportunity, these junk lots are still going for fairly decent prices, especially, I mean, I got some of these guys on eBay, and it really wasn't that bad, but the prices are starting to go up, you know. People are starting to pay attention. I mean, but G.I. Joe is, I, in my opinion, way worse. The prices on G.I. Joe stuff is just getting astronomical. Of course, the, the thing with G.I. Joe is, is they have way more accessories. And in order to get a complete G.I. Joe figure, is way harder than to get a complete one of these guys. Because these guys only came with, like, what, a gun, maybe a cape, or something like that. They didn't come with, like... Oh, he's got a missile pod, and oh, he's got a phone, and a walkie-talkie, and a computer, and stuff like that. So these guys, there's not as much to lose on these guys. So, but even though these guys are older and more classic, they're about like on average, like this guy's like is, is a good ten years older than an average GI Joe guy. So, but they made a cr oh look, oh man, his his leg is very dirty. Let's see if we can get that. Let's see if that... It's a little better. It's not perfect. I mean, a little bit of patina, if, if, if necessary, is not the worst thing in the world. Uh, his head is very dirty. I think this might be stained. Don't want to wear that white off of his eyes, but that's pretty good. It looks better. Oh, look at this. I got a Lando, and he still has his helmet on. That's awesome. That's very cool. I forgot I had this dude. We're just going to do a quick brush down. Mmm. He's got some paint wear. I'm going to put his helmet back on. That helmet looks so good. They did a very good job of uh, making that helmet to scale where, where it looks exactly like it does in the movie. This is the Darth Vader. Darth Vader's are pretty pricey. I got this one for a deal. I think he's Mexican, but his head's all... Woo, he's pretty wobbly. He's pre This guy's got very loose joints, but, I mean... For the money... You know, you gotta you get what you get. This is not a C-3PO. This is a Death Star droid. He needs some black touch up, but he's still he still looks very shiny. The vac metal looks great. He just needs a little bit of a black on him, and he's in actually pretty good shape. Other than he's got loose joints. Got a storm snow troopers. I knew this guy was pretty stained up, but it looks like that stuff's coming right off. Oh, look, he's got some, whoops, he's got some damage on the back of his heel there. But if he goes on a stand on a peg, I'm not going to notice. There's a walrus man. Or, as we call them when we were kids, a butt face. Now, Walrus Man gets his arm chopped off in the original movie. And I was six or seven years old when the original movie came out. So, of course, that arm didn't last very long when I got him. Because Obi-Wan Kenobi chopped that mother off, you know. 
and it did not go on as easily as it came off. So I'm surprised that I have, I've never ever had a walrus man with an actual arm still attached. So that's pretty exciting. It's pretty interesting. I mean, when you look at, think of your memories, you just remember them like not having an arm. So it's a bonus that he has an arm. I think this, I don't know if this is Forlom or Zuckus. I can't remember which one's which. I got another one of these guys. They look really stupid without their things on. They just look like they're, like that's just some, I don't know, some 70s disco bell bottom clothing on. I mean, this guy has such a cool alien head, and like the dumbest, he, it looks almost like he's wearing a dress, you know. Here's another one. Here's a hammerhead. When I was a kid, my neighbor buddy, down the street, the head fell off of his hammerhead guy and his dad took him to the workshop and he drew he put a flathead screw right in the top of him and uh works fine lasts a long time you know you know they're on the playground or out in the front yard don't really super matter you know and the 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 screw was actually rusty so the brown rust actually matched what he his skin color which is interesting I'm wondering if this guy is supposed to have some kind of cloak on, because he looks a little funky without without something. Here's a Hoth Princess Leia. In pretty good shape. I think this one like came to me on an eBay auction in a bag. So somebody actually took care of this one. I got like a Hoth lot. And the the guys were pretty pretty well taken care of. There's a Dengar. He's in pretty good shape. Not my favorite bounty hunter. He just kind of stood there in bandages. I didn't really get it in the movie. Good lord, we got a lot of these guys. Here's 9G88. How long is this turning out to be? I don't know. Biker Scout. This guy was pretty cool in Return of the Jedi. He had his, his bike, but they ruined his bike because they gave it that blow-up action, and it would never stay together. I ended up cutting the spring off of my spider bike and uh, gluing it down because I got so frustrated because it's like you couldn't play with it like a regular vehicle because it'd fall apart. Just looking at it, it was under a lot of spring tension, and you know, of course, the, the biker scout guy didn't stay on there very well. This guy, like, he gets a lot of wear on these eye stalks. Another buddy of mine when I was a kid, uh oh, another buddy of mine as as a kid had this guy, and he had some cockatiels, and. The cockatiel did not like this dude because he didn't have a human face. He thought he was really ugly. And so the cockatiel came along and like popped all of his eyes off and, and like wrecked his head because he was intimidated and scared by that guy. Here's another Hothlea. That's pretty cool. Got two of those. You have some hair wear. I'm going to have to... Do some touch-ups on that. I have no idea when I reach in here which one I'm picking out. I'm just like grabbing them and it's as big a surprise to me as it is to you. It's a trap! 
Admiral Akbar. His yellow stripes look pretty decent. He's got very nice white on him. He may not even need anything except for a scrub. Of course, what does Admiral Akbar do? It's not like he's tearing up the action on the playground, you know. Uh, so I have another Greedo, and he's got his gun. I'm going to try to keep that on him without breaking it. This guy has very little discoloration. Looking real good. His paint looks very good, too. He's a southpaw as well. If I'm not mistaken, this guy has some kind of clothing on as well. I'm not really sure. I forgot what they call this guy. If he's a gunnery guy or Death Star commander. Death Star something. His head is very loose. And he needs some touch-up. That's not going to look too bad, though, on display. Nobody's going to know that his head is all jacked up. X-Wing Luke. This guy has a lot of paint issues. He does have some of his logos left, so I'm not going to try to touch those very much. I don't want to scrub them off of there. This is a very nice Hoth Trooper. He's got more staying on his limbs than on the base of his body. He's got a Jawa. My Jawas when I was a kid had the vinyl capes, not the cloth capes. And then I got a, I think I got a couple cloth capes guys later on wow look at the logos on this Luke he looks great man that his paint really pops very bright but this one right arm here is a little discolored that guy is not bad he's not mint but boy he looks pretty damn good he looks pretty good I'm gonna set him over on the side where I'm not messing these guys up. Sam people. These guys need some silver touch-ups on their horns and their masks and stuff. I know, I'm pretty sure these guys, yeah, these guys came with like vinyl capes. I may give this guy a vinyl cape. I may give him like a cloth cape. Like something simple and rudimentary. There's another Admiral Akbar. Looking pretty good. I have a lot of these emperors. I never had an emperor as a kid. I, I never understood like the fascination with it. It's like he's not like he's not shooting anybody or running around in the woods or you know, okay, so he shoots lightning, but he just kinda just sits there and is an asshole the whole movie. So I didn't really see the appeal. Endor, I think they call these, no, he's not a scout, he's an Endor rebel soldier. I forgot what this guy's name is. General Veers, maybe, something like that. He's got some paint wear on his face, but other than that, he looks pretty good. Oh, he's got some boot wear, a little bit of glove wear. That's going to be easy because it's black, it's not going to be a big deal. These, all three of these uh, emperors have paint wear on their noses. Oh, here's another one. Here's the third one. I know this is the last. This should be the last one. I'm, I'm hoping. A shit pot full of dudes. 
like dollar value on this like this this whole rack of stuff here I probably I think I may have 250 bucks in it as far as the lots are concerned and that may even include like some of the dioramas those dioramas the play sets are you can actually get those they're they're actually not that bad I mean compared to the fact that they're 40 years old um, they're not as expensive as I was willing to pay for one you know the only problem is it's like they don't come with their accessories but we gotta work around on the accessories there's a Jawa I never liked these guys because they were mean to R2-D2 so they weren't my favorite there's a medical droid he's got his arm is intact so that's good Ah, there's a Hoth Luke. I can't believe I got this guy. This guy came in a lot. I wasn't expecting him. This guy goes for big bucks on eBay and other places. And he just came in the lot along with a bunch of other $2 and $3 dudes. But he's in pretty good shape. He's not that bad. He's actually very white and bright compared to a lot of the other Hoth guys. Here, here's my worst looking Hoth guy. He's got some bad colored arms but you know what it is what it is I mean I know there's a trick out there where you can use like hydrogen peroxide to like brighten them up and stuff but this this guy's got like mold spotting on him or something and I'm not gonna stress over it I got two other stormtroopers hot stormtrooper dudes that look pretty decent so I'm not gonna be super upset about it Here's another IG-88. I think, yeah, this guy has some, like, leg warping issues. I believe there's a way that you can, like, straighten the warp out. I haven't looked it up yet. I haven't done any research on it, but, I mean, I've, this is also a triplicate guy. Got a couple more in here. Oh, my gosh, it keeps going. Here's the Yoda. This is the one that started it all. Like, I ordered that, uh, uh what is it, um, Dagobah playset and it didn't come in for a while and it was late and the guy on eBay who who I bought it from he felt bad for the delay so he threw in that Yoda as a bonus and I, and that just like lit me up like oh my gosh I have to have everybody now so and then I don't really have my childhood set available at the moment so, I was like, I must, off to eBay I go. There's an Ugnaught. I think there's only one guy left in here, and he should be an Ugnaught. He is an Ugnaught. Alright, so that's the last of these guys. I am going to set these out on a on a towel and some paper towels and let these guys dry off. And I will do another video later on painting them. And thanks for watching.